The Las Vegas Grand Prix last raced here back in the 80s. Now, tickets for its long awaited return went on pre sale just this week. But as Ryan Matthew shows us, longtime fans say they're being priced out. Even the biggest of F1 fans say they cannot afford to go to next year's race, so many are hoping to catch a view from a nearby hotel. But with skyrocketing rates, fans are having to compensate. I don't even want to think about it right now because I could cry, if I'm honest. Louisa Coates calls Southwest England home, where she met her fiancé, Duncan, when they were just 14. She's since been diagnosed with breast cancer, and when discussing where the two would tie the knot... Why don't we do it in Vegas? At the same time as the Grand Prix. Combining the two loves of her life, Duncan and Formula One, the Grand Prix returns here a year from now, but to stand trackside, it'll cost her thousands. When you start talking and planning your day, planning your big day, it's really tough to get that image out of your head thinking that this might might not happen. I jokingly said I should just run out the house and we can all go on vacation. Even locals like Sierra Height says tickets costing up to $10,000 each are unaffordable, especially for her family of eight flying in for it. Add that to an average rate increase of 300% for nearby hotels race weekend. They're taking their money elsewhere. Just, I mean, disappointing I didn't get tickets, but maybe I can run out my house and it'll be a good trade off. Now, important to note, this is all still pre-sale priority interest goes on sale Thursday with public on sale this Saturday. Reporting near Colville and Harmon, Ryan Matthew, 8 News Now.